Hi everyone, I'm Alicia with the Doc Rudy Dozen. And this is my 5 a.m. morning routine where I prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner for my 12 kids. Yes, 12. Six adopted from foster care, four are biological, and we have two bonus kids, which is a family friend staying with us right now. Um, but first, coffee. Thank you, Karen, for my new cup. I am making breakfast first. Pumpkin chocolate chip bread. I'm gonna make a double batch of pumpkin chocolate chip bread today, which will be six loaves of bread. Because I am still trying to figure out the portioning needed for 12 kids instead of 10. And dinner portionings for 14 people instead of 12. Yeah, we'll get there. I got my new can opener. Nana showed me how to use it. We'll see if I can figure it out today. Okay, so I'm making a double batch. If you do not want six loaves of bread, then cut this in half. Honestly, just make six loaves. You can freeze it or gift it to neighbors. All right, so I'm going to start with six and two thirds cup of flour. No, I don't measure perfectly. It's fine. It tastes the same. Uh, six cups of sugar. This is still my 15 pound bag of Costco sugar. That thing is like standing the test of time in this house. <laughs> huh? Oh, I gotta find my teaspoon. There it is. I like these Pampered Chef. I think it's Pampered Chef. Yeah, Pampered Chef. It has like the different measurements. Helpful. Okay, three teaspoons of salt. And you would think I'd have this memorized. I don't. I make it every week. I, I just, my brain apparently can't hold that. Four teaspoons of baking soda. And then two teaspoons of cinnamon and two teaspoons of nutmeg. Ooh, this is gonna be cutting it close. Go through a lot of nutmeg in this house. It's my favorite secret ingredient. Uh, let's see, cup and a third of water. My head's like having to do math to double this. Two cups of oil. I'm finally adjusted to getting up at four o'clock now. Ooh, come on, come on. Make it, that's close enough. With our two new bonus kiddos, I gotta get up at four. Um, so I can get them to their school, two school districts away and get back to get my kids up and ready for school. Okay, eight eggs. These are, the brown ones are from our chickens.
think that was eight. And that's it. Oh, it's a pumpkin. All right, let's see. Why? Why? Why can't I figure it out? I did it. I did it. We got it. We're good now. Just not fancy here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm putting in, I think this is 30, yeah, 29 ounces of pumpkin. Yes, you can be extra and do real pumpkin, not canned. I can often have stuff like flowers settle at the bottom. So I'm just going to scrape and make sure. Yep, it's, yeah. There's still flour stuck to the bottom. brand this mixing bowl is. I got it at the grocery store. But I needed a giant mixing bowl. Because I was always mixing like my double batches and it was overflowing all over the counter. It was not pretty. Okay, I gotta put in the chocolate chips. My three-year-old and five-year-old got into the chocolate chips yesterday. I will post a picture to stories. <laughs> of their reaction when I found them. You leave them downstairs for two seconds. They got into the chocolate chip.
Okay, that took too much concentration. Clean up my little spills here so they don't burn. So this is going to go in at 350 degrees for one hour. Actually, it's probably going to take a little bit longer because it's a double batch. So it just, the air can't circulate as good. out there medicine vitamin supplements all that stuff we went out well no we didn't go out for dinner we got takeout last night uh, from Tom Walls it's like a burger place so that was nice do not have to cook dinner and do dishes and all that stuff. We're getting our family pictures taken tonight. The ones that didn't happen the other week. I told the kids, I said, I don't care what you do all weekend. All I want for Mother's Day is a nice family picture. That's it. That's all I want. Just a nice picture. So we're going to do that today because our actual Mother's Day is completely insane. Um, four of the boys have a baseball game. And Nan and Papa will be here. I don't know if Oma and Opa are coming over or not. And then it's like Mother's Day is this whole juggling act because, you know, eight of the kids have a biological mom. So they have an adoptive mom and a biological mom. And their biological moms want to spend time with them on Mother's Day too. So it's like this whole balancing act of spending time with everyone. So I think... I think James will go to his mom's. Um, I think Nevaeh and Deshaun might go to their mom's with their brother. I think, I haven't heard from Bree and Patrick's mom. She's got some health stuff going on, so I'm not sure. I'll have to reach out to her. And then, ah! I just made a giant mess. Um, Alex's mom lives in South Dakota. We're in New York, so we unfortunately can't see her, but we'll call her. texted her back and now I we yeah we played this whole like phone tag thing so I gotta get a hold of her too I'm kind of hoping that 
um, Brian Patrick's mom and the twins' mom can just come to the boys' baseball game because that would make my life easier. <laughs> So that's my plan. Whenever our adopted kiddos have um, like a sports event or game or whatever, I always give the biological parents their sports schedule so they can come to their games and stuff. It's what works for us. I know that will not work for every family, but it works for us. We have all open adoption. And that's just a good way to balance like all of the, I don't know, visits and stuff. All right, James has tuna fish for his sandwich. Whoop, a little bit too much celery salt. That came out fast. something random for Jason's lunchbox. We're gonna go with Mater. <laughs> he talks apparently. Um, yeah, every day I put something random in Jason's lunchbox because then when you watch it in the fast motion, my morning routine in fast motion, um, people try and catch the secret item in his lunchbox. It's just a fun game. All right, so I'm making 11 sandwiches now. Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, Deshaun decided he wants to bring his lunch now. Nevaeh is still getting the school lunch provided by the school. James's tuna sandwich. sandwich, Deshaun's turkey sandwich, Zoe's ham sandwich. And that is it for that. Alex is my only mustard kid. Jordan says he likes mustard, but I think he just says that because Alex likes mustard. I don't know if he actually likes it. I think Sean's the only one that does lettuce on his sandwich. My other kids are like, what, a vegetable on a sandwich? reusable and disposable baggies like sandwich baggies and they kept disappearing and I'm like where the heck are all of my Ziplocs going well Bodie my five-year-old with autism <laughs> took them all 
all of them. Like every bag in the house. And classify out his cars collection. He's huge, huge cars fan. Classified out his cars collection into the baggies. And he just carries those around. So I had to go to the store last night and get baggies. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to take them back. It's too cute. He's just got them all sitting in their bags. This is strawberry jelly. always do everything in age order and I messed this up so it's messing with my brain it's like that's the other thing because now I put Nevaeh and Deshaun into my age order and I'm like yeah I can't I can't function apparently all right Dash is my only PBJ kid Twins will do fluff. Don't judge. Just don't judge. Jordan moved in. He couldn't eat solids um, because of his macroglossia. We worked with a feeding therapist for years. We had to do all this protocol to teach him how to eat properly. So don't judge that he likes a fluff sandwich. I'm just proud of him that he can eat solids. And Bodie's ketchup sandwich. She likes hers cut diagonal, speaking of Mother's Day, because that's the way her biological mom did it. Patrick says he doesn't care how the sandwich is cut. Typical boy. Did I have to make it? No. Then I'll eat it. All right, then I put them in my drawer in age order. Yeah, I went to the store with Bree and Harley last night. While well, some of the kids were at Taekwondo and some of the kids were at Odyssey of the Mind. I did not make a vlog of it though, because it was dinner time and that Wegmans is insane at dinner time. And I had two kids with me. But Bree picked out all the Mother's Day cards. So that was helpful. I gotta get those mailed out today so they get to everybody for Mother's Day. I Amazon some stuff to the not local moms for Mother's Day.
Zoe has a chorus concert tonight. What do we have? We have a track, chorus concert, pictures. Oh, the barber's coming over. Barber's coming over to do the twins and Deshaun's hair. Gonna totally mess me up when then I start packing a lunch for Nevaeh. I'm just adjusting to 11 lunches right now. Jason left his gray lunchbox at school, so he's got his black lunchbox today. napkin today says I can't wait to see you after school and I am a napkin short no I'm not Pringles. I've forgotten to get those for a while. <laughs> there has been a frog wedding going on in my freezer for over a week now. And they like strategically move places every day. It's like these toy frogs. And they're on top of this football ice cream cake that we have left over from the Super Bowl that's probably disgusting now. So Zoe said we have to eat the frogs uh, wedding cake tonight for dessert. So that's what we're having for dessert. 
old ice cream cake that's probably freezer burned and has had frogs sitting on it. Not real frogs. practice fishing. We got to get more fishing stuff and practice for the fishing derby. Next week's the fishing derby. So we're going to practice this weekend. James and Deshaun went, rode bikes and went fishing the other night. So they have been practicing already. Van has never been fishing, so that'll be a fun adventure. Nan and Papa are going to come and help me at the fishing derby. Thank goodness. chicken fajitas for dinner. I always crock pot on Thursdays. Uh, and now I'm going to put the chicken on top. And it is Cinco de Mayo. I thought I'd make chicken fajitas. We just had tacos on Tuesday. We just had steak fajitas last week. Chicken fajitas is one of those meals that most of my kids will actually eat. I try and only rotate the meals that I know my kids will eat. If they ever don't like a meal, they can get leftovers from a night before. Ugh, I just bought these onions. I specifically... That was the whole reason I went to the store last night is I needed onions because the onions I bought went bad and I just bought these onions and that one was bad. What's going on, onions? Why you gotta ruin my day? I'm gonna grab another onion. I got a different kind of onions this time, thinking like, oh, maybe it was the kind I got. Nope. I cannot wait for the garden to be in. Between my garden and Nana's garden every year, I will barely buy vegetables. weekend will be rock climbing, hip hop, uh, track meet, baseball, Laundry needs to be put away, shoes need to be put away, that kind of stuff. Okay, 
layer of onions. Slice up your peppers. I should have probably bought more peppers, but oh well. We're just gonna go with this amount. I'm watching all these fancy ways to cut bell peppers and I just cut them normal. I don't know. My brain's not going to learn a fancy way to cut bell peppers at this point. All right, I got to get the chicken trimmed up and washed. All right, so I have 14 pounds of chicken breasts. This is another thing I'm still trying to figure out, like how much, like how much portions to cook for dinner to feed 14 people. We often have like Aunt Kiki and Uncle Eric and Amelia here, so I like to make extra. Anyways, I'm gonna, should I cook this now? No, I'm gonna set three chicken breasts aside and make buffalo chicken wing dip later for the charcuterie board. leave like eight, nine, ten, eleven, I don't know, twelve. Is that enough? I don't know. Maybe I'll just take two pieces for the dip. rather have too much and then we can eat leftovers than not enough. We usually do a huge leftover lunch on Saturdays. Kids love it. I We just heat up everything like buffet style. And then it doesn't get wasted. And it makes my lunch on Saturdays really easy. I have to be extra picky about trimming my chicken because some of my kids have like, they just don't like it chewy at all and then they won't eat. This is like pre-trimmed by the store, but I trim it up more. starting. Probably 
you can't really see it. I was hoping if I put the camera over there, you could see the sunrise. I don't think you can. figure out what to make for lunch on Sunday now because we're going to do a barbecue with Nana and Papa. I'll probably just do burgers and hot dogs. I don't know. do. I don't know what I'll do. I gotta think about that. Maybe like Mother's Day brunch type foods. I gotta look at the weather. We had like five days straight of rain. So the next two days are supposed to be good. I don't know what's after that. So we're getting pictures taken tonight at 7.30. We shall see how this goes literally the only time we had where we're all home without an activity. Okay, this chicken is actually washed pretty good. They pre-wash it at the store, but sometimes I just extra wash it, but I don't know, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna save that step, save myself from that mess. taco seasoning on top and that is that let it cook
everything not fit back into my fridge the right way. I have to go to the post office today. I got a call from them that there is more happy mail. So no and Deshaun and I are gonna go after school. There's that straw. So I prep everything the night before. Like I get everything out, all the yogurts in a bowl, all the chips in a bowl. Helps my morning go faster. All right, let me wash these dishes. It's got about 15 more minutes, so I will show you the sunrise. Okay, bread is almost done. I'm gonna get the sausage links cooked up. Six, eight, ten, twelve.
gonna do a clementine. Yeah, I'm gonna do a clementine. Josh, we were at Tom Walls last night and this person asked to take their picture with us. And then it was like immediately posted on Snapchat and like reshared and stuff. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. That's funny. And she said she loves my snackerty boards. I need to do more of my like just snack like where I used to do the video of just making the snack board yeah need to do that again This is really hot. <laughs> what do I need? I need two more pieces. Some of those loaves are not done. <gasps> I don't know why I just touched that pan. Because it's six o'clock in the morning. and that's Harley's. All right, the rest of those loaves I'm gonna let cook for five minutes.
pantalons. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, done. Thank you for joining me for my morning routine. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you tomorrow.